I went over the curb. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the 2024 for Mustang Convertible. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on the bell notification icon. This is a rear wheel drive for Mustang Convertible with a 2.3 liter engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, making 315 horsepower. In my opinion, I think Ford did a great job redesigning the Ford Mustang. Uh, you have the signature tail lights, and uh, I think it looks great. You also get a basic warranty of three year and 26,000 miles. If you want to buy a convertible just like this one, it will cost you about $39,000, brand new. The fuel economy is roughly 20 city and 28 highway. Now that I told you a little bit about this car, let's take a look at the exterior features and interior and uh, see what makes this Mustang so great. I must say, I really do like the redesigned Mustang. Uh, Ford did a really great job making it still look like a Mustang, but very modern uh, and a very nice uh, few touches to it. You have these three piece LED headlights. You have this chrome bezel inside the headlight that kind of makes it seem like you have the daytime running lights on. But a uh, very aggressive look, very modern. Uh, if you come around, you have an 18 inch alloy wheels, 235, 50, 18 to be precise. Uh, you have no turn signal indicator on the mirrors. You do have keyless entry. This is a convertible top, of course. You have your gas tank on the driver's side. You have this very nice low profile spoiler in the trunk. Signature Mustang uh, three piece tail lights. You have the pony right over here with your rear view camera right on top. You also have dual exhaust. This right here is your reverse light. You also have this bubble over here for the GPS. Radio antenna right over here. Very nice and sport, uh, sporty uh, side skirts. But uh, overall, it's a very beautiful car. I think uh, Ford did a really great job with this car. Now that I show you guys the exterior of the Mustang, how about we take a look at the interior, shall we? Let's go. Very nice heated and cool leather seats. You have your seat twitches right over here. Over here, you have this uh, storage pocket that opens just like that. Very strange. I've never seen that before, but it's very cool. Right over here, look what we found. A pony, the Mustang Pony. This is your AC vents. They feel very, even though they're plastic, they feel very nice. You have your trunk open button right over here. You have your light switches. Now let's go inside the car because it is raining. Inside the Mustang, you have this very nice flat bottom steering wheel. Feels very nice and sporty, but you have your driving modes over here. You also have your cruise control, nice Mustang logo, and your media controls on this side. Let's go ahead and close the door. And this is a quick look of the interior of the Mustang. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. So foot on the brake, press the button. Very nice graphics. There are no paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. You have your turn signal indicator right over here. On the right side, you have your windshield wipers. You have a 12.4 inch instrument cluster and right next to it you have a 13.4 inch infotainment system made it to a nine speaker sound system that sounds fantastic now that i show you guys the exterior of the mustang how about i show you how to open the convertible top right under that gigantic infotainment system you have some more ac vents but you also have the engine start stop button you have some more buttons right over here like your performing pages uh, traction control and your hazard lights. You also have the volume controls for the infotainment system And if you go down a little further, you have a 12 volt outlet two USB ports USB and USB type C and this right here is a wireless charger a little bit of storage space uh, not for Anything other than coins or anything like that, but uh, yeah 
You also have your gear selector. You put your foot on the brake, press the button, and you can move the gear selector wherever you want it to go. You also have two cup holders. This is your parking brake. And if you go down a little further, you have a little bit of storage space right over here with a 12 volt outlet. Heated and cool seats for the passenger as well. You also have some more storage space right over here. And you get this nice little batch over here that says Mustang. If we go up, you have your rear view mirror, you have your lights, the button to open the uh, convertible top. You have your sun visors with a light. And that's pretty much it. The interior of the Mustang feels very nice and comfortable, especially with these nice leather seats, at least right here in the driver's side and the passenger side. Uh, you feel very comfortable. I can't say the same if you're sitting in the back. Um, yeah, let me show you the back of the car. Going into the back of the car, the first thing you have to do is remove your seat belt. Okay. I already know I'm not gonna be very comfortable back here. I'm gonna move the driver's side uh, forward as much as possible. The rear bucket seats, ah oh, man, so, yeah, it's very, very uncomfortable. All right, I'm sitting in the back of the Mustang right now and I must say, it's, I don't feel comfortable at all. Uh, the seats are not made for an adult. They're probably made for kids or something like that. I feel very nice and tight in here. Uh, I do not like it. But what do you get back here? Absolutely nothing. You have no armrests. As you can see, no armrests. You have no cup holders. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just get a, a seat and a seat belt. You have no storage pocket behind the driver's seat, but you do have one behind the passenger seat. And uh, that's about it. There's no cup holders, no armrests, uh, no nothing. Now let's see how I'm gonna get out of here. I know it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I do not recommend the bag of the Mustang for any adults. All right, so I show you guys the exterior and interior of the Ford Mustang. How about I show you how to open the, uh, the convertible top? To open the convertible top, all you have to do is make sure the car is on. There's this latch right over here. You just pull it down, you twist, the hood becomes on latch, and you just press and hold this button right here. The windows will go down, and there you have it. to say that for this car to be a four cylinder engine it actually sounds very nice and sporty we're going to go ahead and take a look under the hood and then we're going to go ahead and drive it and rev it for a little bit so you guys can see how how good it sounds all right let's take a look under the hood to open the hood you have this little latch right over here There you have it, 2.3 liter four cylinder engine. It is turbocharged. But uh, yeah, let's start it up so you guys can hear it.
I've owned two Mustangs in the past. My third car ever was a 1996 Ford Mustang, regular base V6. And then I upgraded to a 2002 Ford Mustang GT. But one of my favorite Mustangs ever is the Fox Body Mustang. And this Mustang pays an homage to that car. And I'm gonna show you how in a little bit. To cycle through your different driving modes, you have these two buttons right over here. As you can see, you have track, drag strip, slippery, custom, normal, and sport. The graphics are pretty cool. But if you click this button right here, it takes you to the performing pages, which you have uh, track applications for acceleration timers and whatnot. You also have brake performance lap timer and line lock to do burnouts. You also have auxiliary gauges that show you the G-forces, the oil PSI, battery voltage. I'm not sure what this button does. Oh, it show you some more gauges uh, so you can cycle through them here. If you go to custom mode, you can select whether you want traction control on or off. Um, you know, you can select different profiles for your car. The color, it changes the color of the display. Also, you have ambient lighting. You have lights right under your foot wells. Uh, you can, you know, put different colors on that. And then you have the cluster theme which I think it's, it's pretty cool. You can change the way you want the cluster to look. So you have uh, that one, which is called Match to Drive, depending on the driving mode that, you, that you're on. You have the normal one, you have the Sport, you have the Track, Calm, and then you have the Fox Body 87 or 93, which is my favorite one, that pays homage to the Fox Body from uh, 1987. And it looks like that. And uh, let me show you how it looks. So let me show you how it looks once you select it here on the screen, how it actually looks. So right there you have the Fox body. That's probably my favorite one and the one that I've been driving on. But if you switch, switch to Calm, you get that one. This is the, the track option. You also have the Sport. I like this one also. This is what the normal one looks like and the match to drive depending on which driving mode uh, you're currently driving on. I usually drive on the uh, Sport or the Fox body one. Thing looks really cool. All right guys, so now we're gonna take the Mustang. So now we're gonna take the Mustang for a drive just to see how well she drives. Um, of course, we're gonna put her, we're gonna turn off the traction control press and hold the traction control button traction control off we're gonna be on track mode so a four cylinder turbo 315 horsepower uh, she's actually pretty quick fast compared to a V8 but it's definitely a pretty fast car as yet. There's another button worth mentioning and that's the line lock and uh, basically it locks the front brakes while allowing the rear wheels to spin without moving the vehicle. This allows you to do a burnout to heat up the rear tires for better traction. Uh, technically it's for track use only but um, we're gonna try it out. So the first thing you do you hit the line lock it's gonna say line lock enabled and it says hold okay to initialize. So we're gonna hold okay. Press, I'm pressing the brake and now pressing okay to engage. All right, so we're gonna run them out.
and lock released. There you have it. That was amazing, guys. I love line lock. How about we take the tap down and do some drifting, some donuts. Yes, sir. We're gonna put it on track mode. Okay, I am in track. Make sure the traction control is completely off. I'm gonna press and hold. All right, so let's go for a drive. hard to drift an automatic car because it wants to shift let's do a few donuts with the top down yes sir <laughs> this car is fun guys this car is very fun bit of a uh, dirt in my eyes but uh yeah very fun car very fun car it up because I am getting dirt and stuff in my eyes and I don't like it. And uh, continue driving. Let's keep enjoying the Mustang.
Peace out.